Okay. Hello and welcome to my playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic 1. Um, if you weren't here last time, we're just doing this for fun. We are doing it on impossible difficulty, and I'm also doing it with the KOTOR 1 restoration mod, which has some small, slight fixes that you may not have seen before. And. The Brotherhood of Shadow Solomon's Revenge mod. Now, you probably won't see a lot of Solomon's Revenge, or any of Solomon's Revenge, till near the end of the game. It is not triggered until much later. So, for right now, we're gonna make our Golden Knight to get off the tariffs. And I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got killed in the dual ring last time. So, let's. Try to update our screen. <sighs> this is going great. Oh, now I gotta restart the game. This game is an absolute pain in the butt to record. It does not take cutscenes, it does not take much of anything at all. Okay, there we go. Ah! Ah! What is this? This is even worse than before. Okay, we're switching back to the old way. I'm done with this window mode crap. I, I, this is even worse than before. So... I gotta turn off window mode real quick in the app cache. Star Wars, Knights of the Republic, KOTOR, INI, allow windowed mode, zero, and full screen, one. And we're going to go back to that, since we actually got some recording at last time. Wow. Does this thing just hate me tonight? Okay. Better, but I have no clue what's going on here with my game. I I was just reading how this game is a pain in the butt to record. But let's switch away from our swords cuz I don't like swords. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and get him to open up about it. Okay, I'll speak yes, to him. What's in your mind? Is this a good time to ask more questions? Ask questions later. Is this really necessary? No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. <laughs> this is an interrogation. Though you do seem to be full of questions, it's rather refreshing to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Uh, well, I woke up and I'm not quite sure what happened. I wasn't in a position to know what was going not on. Not was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And, and for what? On the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? 
Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. Mm -hmm. We didn't choose that. You can turn it off. It got Not forced true. on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? Well, that just sounds what accusing. Is with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a scout. Well, that makes sense. I was recruited Still, for my skills. It's strange that someone who is a last minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Are you accusing me? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. Well, I have no they idea what you're talking numerous about. numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, <laughs> and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time Carth ago is not so to take things at face value, however, and... I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? <laughs> you do know we're on the same side. It has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Karth has a lot of insecurities. I can say All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk I take about it as a compliment. Later. Right now, I just want to get going. Okay. Let's go see what trouble we can stir up here in the upper city. Let's go fight a Sith. Huh. That guy looks like he's, a get, he's about to get beat up by bounty hunters. Davik says you missed your last payment. Yeah, who does? Cool. Who's this Davik? <laughs> Must be pretty powerful if he's got a couple thugs. Fifty credits? That's nothing. It's like a drink. At a time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? Uh, I don't know. Good question. <laughs> What? No! Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. No, uh, like oh, we, we didn't even have a choice. Tavik doesn't like witnesses. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that might have been mostly Karth. I couldn't Thank tell you. if it was me or Karth. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan yeah, from Yeah, you should have listened to your wife. Pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Eh, I'm just glad I could help you for now, but... I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. Oh, look, they had credits. He could have given them to Davik. I want to say... Oh, this is a medical facility. Gurney. And Zelka. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Must be pretty bad if you can't treat it. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. Interesting. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send hmm. into the Undercity. If I could Over just get my hands base? on a Good sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Taras forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. 
Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't hmm. already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the uh, I might be stupid enough. I might be stupid Please enough. Don't say that. I got two the blasters Sith in my hands. I'm gonna go down and kill some Sith and get it. They could shut me down. I nah, only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, uh I don't think I need any med packs. Oh, a bio antidote. Oh, I only have 283 credits. Um, do we have any crap we can sell? I should probably equip the combat suit. We can sell a longsword. Oh, short swords are worth nothing. Sell a vibro blade. I don't. I don't remember why I need a purple creed detonator. No and problem. we're gonna break in here. Got it. Cause I'm awful. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. What's going on here? Uh, nothing. This. This isn't your concern. Just, just forget you saw anything, okay? Nah. I'm a friend. I, uh, I guess I better. I haven't determined whether I'm gonna get a light side or dark side yet. Sith don't find out what I've done since the space battle overhead. People have been. Right now, we'll just lean light side, and then maybe we'll jump back over to the dark side. I had to take them in. What just get crazy on a couple people. Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive, but at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, hmm. the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Well, thanks, Zilka. Hey, Gurney. You there. Wait a minute. I need to talk he just to you sounds extremely secret. shady. Why would I side I've with him? I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands sounds on the Rackle like... Serum. Oh. David Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can Slim? if you can get the cure. From Ratchet and Clank? Oh, come on. Everybody knows who David Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Uh, I think this guy Gambling. takes a long time to talk to. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like yeah, Zelka, practically but I'm not interested away. in making a profit yet. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can oh, so it's all nice money, of course it is. Fee for directing you to him. Hmm. I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stray? Helping people help is all people. well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More, and then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rackle <laughs> serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He. Let's go over here. Do I never heal on impossible mode? I, I, I don't remember if I ever heal at any point in this. Oh, I'm so confused. I'm on impossible mode. And I don't remember exactly what defines it as impossible other than the difficulty of the enemies. And oh my gosh, my game's stuck. Again. And now you guys can see again. No problem. This game is a pain in the butt to record. I just robbed a man, woman, and child. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. Should get dark side points for this, but that's not how this game works. I just rob people. Hey, they have stuff I need. Oh, this is a party. Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. Party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles 
Seems you won't be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. And we kind of fade. And everybody's passed out on the floor. Who's that? Young Genda. Oh, look, some Sith armor. And all these people are nothing interesting. But I will go over here and rob you. More map packs and computer spikes. Awesome. Oh, look, I'm gonna rob you. One of these actually triggers a cutscene, I remember. I think it might be this one. Nope. That one didn't trigger it. One of these is just like, what are you doing running around robbing people? I don't know, some, I'm pretty sure it's this one. I remember now. It's the room with the food on the ground. Yeah. It was not that one. What? I'm so confused now. I could swear one of these rooms triggered a cutscene. No problem. Got it. Please, please don't hurt me. I don't remember now. You don't have to kill me. I'll have to have some. Oh. Here, I've got. What are you babbling about? You mean you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. No, I just you're break into people's apartments me. and take their stuff. You know I'm not here to kill anyone. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment, so he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since, but sooner or later someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits, I'm a dead man. Here, I got 200 credits, although I don't really want to give away my money willy-nilly, but I guess oh, I you should be nice. 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Uh, now I can pay off. Got a, got a pain oh, in my stomach you. from giving this two hundred credits to him. That was most I of what I had. I better go give this to Davik right away. Take your three credits that you had had in there, and that was it. We got our Sith armor that we needed. So now we can walk down here and get accosted by Sith Troopers and Drunk Guys. What is this planet coming, coming to, to huh? you? Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Swami? I'm better dressed than you are. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. A drink? Hey, hey! For a slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's pie in the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. More <laughs> drinks. Yeah, I probably wasn't gonna buy them for you uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe next time, slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. <laughs> I got light eye points? What? I just didn't want to start a fight with him. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my co- I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. This guy's so the Wookiees and Ethorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action. You and one we other person, maybe. That one guy looks angry. Our glorious planet. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. 
On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on. Eh, probably we'll not. Cooker, no. People like him can make trouble for us. The evil walks among us. The uh, enemy no, is here. We the must the act so. now before we are overrun with the burning. T three H eight. Customer, come in. Janice and all at your service. Welcome to my droid and droid supply shop. Customers are very hard to come by. A lot of the terrorist citizens won't even come in here. They refuse to shop at a store owned by a Twi'lek. I don't have anything against Twi'leks. Oh yeah, of course they don't like them. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Oh, they confiscated all your soul droids. I could use a couple of soul droids right now. I guess I have to take a utility droid. Oh, at the T3M4 droid. Hello there. How are you doing tonight, Paulo? He's even got the firepower at the end of the back. I want the T3 droid. Um, I don't need any of that crap. I want the T3 H8 model. He's a bargain. Don't worry, he'll follow you everywhere. Go on, T3. And... Boom! You sold me a cruddy droid. I want my money back. Randy E. Chawa, Tongbola, Johnny. That thing was a piece of junk. You ripped me off. Wanna vote a contitariti? Chichinto. Kakin cha na quat na bonk. No hard feelings. Tonga book sha um na nong. Keen kun. And I don't need anything else. Can I have the T3 droid? Can I have the T3 droid instead? That'd be awesome. Well, thanks for dropping in. It's not quite as late here, but uh, I thought it'd be fun to play a little bit more tonight. And I've never played with the Restoration mod. I'm not going to get to Brotherhood of Shadow. I have played Brotherhood of Shadow once. And this elevator is off. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith. If you were supposed to have them, you move up. What? I don't remember that part. Um. Yeah, it's it's been a while since I've done this. Trying to remember. Yes. This elevator is off limits. Only it's, it's obvious. I'm not here to give you. Him. Question mark. A plane straight for our. Now I'm confused. Well, let's use the rapid transit system.
Authorization papers. Authorization papers. Oh, the second one. You get the papers from... There's a Sith Patrol around here. Maybe it's not in this one, maybe it's in the other one. I remember now. But I thought you only had to go one way. I could swear I've, I've done all this before. But I thought you only had to go one way. Why am I so confused right now? Well. Can we... Oh. There's no point to transit back from here. So, we're trying to get to the lower city. I feel kind of dumb right now because it's been so long since I played Terrace that I don't... I thought you only had to go to the party. The alternative method is that there is a patrol that you take the Sith armor from. As you can see, I've already grabbed the Sith armor. But they're unhappy that I don't have authorization papers, which I do not remember. Aha! There's a Sith Trooper. Is this the same room that party was in? There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Aha, here we go. Sell them to the Terizian underground. Start talking. I want answers. The Afrika, he endured it out, and was he good, and he behind Gorubia. What's going on? A few of the Sith Trooper uniforms have gone missing. We've got evidence that this alien knows something about them, so the commander's interrogating him. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. <laughs> Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. <laughs> I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. I think he has issues with interrogations. I guess we don't lose anything when the commander blows his head off, do we? Anyway, what do you care? What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach this soldier how we deal with insubordination. Oh, he thinks I have the... I have the... What's the heck, card? Oh, okay. Yep, Karth is doing all the work. I'm just a scrub. Oh, there's another Sith Trooper in there. Kaboom! Oh, oh, okay, that worked. Ah, oh, nice! Nice, we like grenades. Yep, go away, alien prisoner. Now, these magical authorization papers. Maybe I just needed both uniforms? That must be new in the Kodor restoration, restoration mod, because I do not remember having to grab both of them. But whatever, we should be okay now. Yep, now I have both disguises. 
It's actually really funny. So I've been watching speedruns of this game, but I don't think I will ever speedrun it. And they use the Sith armor for most of the game. And it becomes bugged real late in the game. And it messes with your character you model. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. Oh, that was easy enough. I guess I needed both of them. Nothing but Bantha fodder. The Vulcans are the strongest. We'll teach you who's strongest. As he, he dies from a hit from a stun baton. Okay, the, it, he dies from a hit from a stun baton. And he dies from a hit from a fiber blade. Oh crap. So to fix it, I gotta come out and come back in once in a while. This game is really finicky with uh... with recording it. But as long as I... Ready. Oh my gosh. Oh. That was... That was awful. Um, as long as I once in a while refresh my refresh my screen, um, it'll come back correctly. Anyway, we get to watch this scene again. You, s I saw it. You did. Volkers are the strongest. We'll teach you who's the strongest. Dice the sun baton again. Dice the sun baton again. And now, dies to Viper Blade. Sith aren't welcome here. Well, I'm not Sith. Holy crap! Um. Impossible mode is like crazy. Please just thank you. Okay, well let's let's switch out of these dumb uniforms. I think they're function they're functionally Jedi robes. I like Karth keep his on. Oh, this cutscene. It's a stun baton for Pete's sake. The damage roll on that double bladed <laughs> on the double bladed sword is crazy. Can I even Do I even stand a chance with this stuff? Let's throw my combat suit on. So this is Impossible mood. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to turn down the difficulty. Because the guy with the double bladed sword rolls like a 20 bajillion damage hit every time he rolls. I'm not even. Oh, Karthus. Like, I'm not even in my Sith uniform. Oh. 
That one guy's still alive back there. And the guy with the stun baton. Oh! He's gonna kill me with a stun baton. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, Karth has a ton of health. Karth has a ton of health and was one shot by that double blade. Oh. There were only two guys? I could swear there were three. What? Dick Karth must have shot the other one. Blaster pistol. Blaster pistol. Clothing. Sure. Well, they added some NPCs. Let's go to Javiar's Cantina. You're right. Oh yeah, I'll buy Pizak cards. Uh, um, he wants to just sell me Pizak cards. And I want them anyway. Get the plus minus three. Greetings, stranger! My name is Gelrud. Are you a Pizak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. I'll play. Excellent. He was accused of cheating. I know he was. Oh, and you can actually see my game of Pazak this time. Take that, Gelrud. Uh. Oh, two set wins. Let's win the match now. Of course, he has a minus three. Uh, okay. We live for one more round. That is crap. I took a real chance, and I paid for it. You played well, and I went. I'll play again. I, I need a little bit of money. I need to at least get back the money I lost. This is the hard part of it being so early in the game. I have no minus cards and I wasn't paying attention and should have just thrown my four. All he needs is 17, right? Yeah. Pazak is the most one of the most relaxing parts of this game. Oh yes. He's gonna stop at sixteen. Ah, oh, that's gotta be painful. Uh, you played well. The Ten. If you're and now I have no money. <laughs> Go away. I love this part. <laughs> we just want to say hi to Big Bad Cal Bounty Hunter Calo Nord. Nah, this can't be Calo Nord. He's supposed to be tough. He's a runt. What'd that mean? He'd be funny, tough guy? <laughs> We're the Black Volkers! And he's not scared. 
I eat count. <laughs> it's three against one. Three. And chucks a thermal detonator at him. Oh. 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 No, it's not. It's a flash grenade because he shot them all. Go away. Smart. <laughs> I like doing that. He'll actually kill you if you if you irritate him enough. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own. You're the guy who put that bounty on Dia's head from that? episode one of I Phantom. Must have Can't get off terrorists. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with a vibro blade. Maybe because you were a jerk. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with it, although I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits. Kalanord is a legend. The bounty. You can do that if you want, but I doubt. Find by me. And I'm gonna give you 200 credits. I was gonna use the money I got from uh, gambling, but I lost all my money. Sounds vaguely familiar. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Kalinor doesn't have a prominent enough role in this game. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Mission's barbs are fun too. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. He just brought my food! Whoa. Quit complaining, you can finish eating later. Besides, <laughs> you need the exercise, so get over here. It disappoints me so much that in the speedrun of this game, the scene never happens. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. The speedrun of this game is entertaining to watch. You're like, oh, you can't get through most of the game without mission in Zalbar, can you? Oh, yeah, you can. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Yeah. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... Zalbar. We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. I like Zalbar well, so much more right person, than Chundar in Knights of Over or Knights of Republic 2. To to no, it's not Chundar. It's Hanar. Chundar's the guy, I guess you can see. Oh, I want to know about Kalanor, Kalanor the legend. Is one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He uh, yeah, that's why I didn't try and talk office, to him. But I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalanor has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden... The We're gonna speed up through this just a little bit. He's a good guy. 
Not like that traitor Bregic. Bregic's a traitor. We don't care about him. Davik's part of the intergalactic crime syndicate. But I guess if, I don't know much about space travel. But the exchange. Travel, where would he keep it? You... If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. No. Okay. You going? Yeah. This dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z. But I haven't finished eating. Let's think about something besides your stomach. Um, I'm not going through that conversation. That conversation is boring as crap. Uh, she doesn't have a partner. Dancers don't perform solo. I'll help her. This is her one shot at the big time. Can't risk her. I could be your partner. How do I know you're any good? What other choice do you have? None. <laughs> That's the best part of this mission. Oh my gosh. I, j I just now realized that it wasn't updating. Yet. Don't you dare screw this up. I'm trying to keep track of if it's updating or not, but sometimes I lose track. We can't miss this part. Just follow my lead. Don't get in too close if you can't handle it. I don't need some clumsy oaf tripping me up. Ha! 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 It's almost like she knows exactly what's going to happen. I got my dance moves down. We want the top performers in the galaxy. We need to do something that won't press him. So watch the next steps. I gotta do it. Of course, I don't know what a circle is. This <laughs> is easily the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I want dancers, not clowns. I'm going to ruin me. We only got one dance left. Oh, you weren't going to make it without a partner anyway. So... Ruin Lin's audition by taking a dive. I already know what's going to happen. Pretty sure that's the option. Yep, but I knew it. Where is it? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> but you don't do too well with the partner. <laughs> or you were dancing with someone that's just a clumsy oaf. You did that on purpose. Nobody can be that bad a dancer unless they were trying. <laughs> you wrecked my one shot at the big time. Well, that's what you get from a stranger. You're right. I ruined your audition on purpose. Get <laughs> another partner. A good partner. <laughs> oh. Yes, I want. It, I'm just skipping through this because I need. 
I need some bounties. Oh, Bendak Star Killer. We have to do that mission. I normally miss that mission because it's dark side, but I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as Okay, I don't know about Devic special contracts. Justice is one thing. And there's Metric. He used to work for Devic. I think I paid his. No, Largo. Yeah, Largo is the one that I paid off. Selvin, Bendak, Matric. Uh, that's good. And I have no money, so we're gonna actually have to do the bounties to get any money. I. I like how their bases are like 500 feet from each other. Davix agent versus Black Volker. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Let's see the brig crime or come and get his money from the Black Volkers. So you want to play this the hard way? Okay. Candorous and his gigantic gun. Oh, hey, Candorous. We didn't know you was working for Davik now. We're just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with Mandalorian. Here's Davik's gun. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. <laughs> better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Ah. Uh, good job, Candorous. Hidden back sky. Is this... Yeah, Lower City Apartments. Quiet, Lou girl. That's Kala Nord, the infamous bounty hunter. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. <laughs> Over our cold dead bodies. Well, That's the plan. Yeah. They brought their fists to a gunfight. And no loot. Now, let's... Save it. That probably was the spark. I'm just gonna chuck a frag grenade at him. What? I love how Karth had to come two feet from them and actually shoot at them, but. Okay. Yes? Whatever. There is a protocol droid. I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Ah, oh, medical supplies. I like finding medical supplies. Advanced med pack. The 
This is not in the... This must be a restored area. Yeah, this was not... This is not in the original game. I'm liking this. You gotta be careful around here. A lot of lowlifes hang out of the swoop races. Last year someone stole a winning ticket out of my hand before I could cash it in. Can't talk. Swoop season starts soon. We need to scrub this place top to bottom before the season opening swoop <laughs> race. This area is off limits because of the ride after the last race. You Teresians couldn't handle crowd control, so we're shutting down the swoop track. Just move along. This area is off limits because hmm. of the ride after the last race. With all the bad blood between the Valkers and the Becks, I sure hope they don't pull out of the big race. That's some uh, interesting green goop. But that's very interesting. That's uh, not something I expected to be in cut content. But we're going to go fight some Black Valkers now and die. I'm dead. Oh, I, I thought they were both. I thought they were both alive. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, Karth, we got like 14 med packs, so you can heal yourself. What? Oh. Hey, I'm not dead. What? happened out of nowhere. Okay, let's grab our loot. Did I have grenades in it the last time? I don't remember that having grenades in it the last time. Whatever. I thought loot generated whenever you entered the floor, not when you opened it. That almost had to be the only thing that he must have only had a short sword because there's no way that you did I put points in demolitions? Nope, it's a gas mine. I did put points in security, so this is my shrunk. Uh Vaguely. No problem. Didn't work. 
has a computerized touch panel and password entry system. Try to enter the password. I think it's hyperdrive. I'm just going off memory now. Cousin? My uncle. No, nope, let's leave the strong box alone. I can't remember the message. Hyperdrive is a pet. You used to live on Alderaan. Uncle Louie taught you how to fire a blaster. Hyperdrive. My uncle. Alderaan. It's so unsafe leaving all your information like that right there, but whatever. And now Karth can have a combat suit. What? And now I can level up. Give myself another point in con. And demolitions. Prepares a cross class skill though. No, persuades a cross class skill. Yeah, I like the ability to pick up mines. Implant level two, uncanny dodge one. Now we can get a couple extra mines on our adventures. One of these is Selvin, so I'm gonna save. No problem. Got it. That was weird. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing in... I gave you a chance to get out. Now you'll see what... Oh. That was, uh... Well, that didn't work. Ready. And now I'm dead. Oh. Well, that is why we saved, everyone. No problem. Got it. Oh. Adrenal alacrity. And that's stop all. right there. You're a fool. Now you'll stop. Ready. I don't remember exactly what a sonic grenade does. I know it does sound damage, but does it do anything else? Um, sonic grenade. Minus six dex for 30 seconds. Oh, that could help. DC 15 for half damage. No problem. Got it. Stop right there. You're now you. I like the sound of death drop. Oh. Wow, nailed.
because I don't think I'm good enough at this game to keep going on impossible. No problem. Got it. Drain all alacrity, drain all alacrity. Adrenal stamina. What? Stop right there. You're now. Sonic grenade. Oh my gosh. Ready. You that that was painful. Okay, let's go around to the other rooms first. Well, we'll open the door and kill the dude. Got it. And then we'll come back and kill something. You have any loot? No. Energy shield that would help against Selvin. Three sonic grenades, a med pack. Okay, we now have energy shields that'll lose, that'll hold up for a hundred points of damage against Selvin, maybe. Is it 100 points of damage? No, it is 20 points. Oh, I, I grossly overestimated that. Well, that's 20 points of damage that Karth doesn't have to tank. Karth and I don't sure. have to tank, so. Stop right there. We'll go ex. I gave you it now. Please just get concussed. Oh, I poisoned myself. That was dumb. That was really dumb. Ready. I left myself in the blast radius. Yes? Stop right there. You're up now, you'll. And we'll chuck a couple frags at you to make sure I kill you. Ah! Yeah. That's how you kill the, mo the most dangerous assassin on Terrace. Oh, and we get a couple items too. And we get money. Don't have any other loot in here, do you? Nope. Neural band, two, plus two for saving throws. Plus two to reflex throws. Nah, this was quicker. Woo! Something seems to be bothering Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? We're in the middle of lower you, city. Something seems enough, to be bothering us. <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. 
That sounds like an excuse. I've been betrayed before by people. I'm, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Well, maybe I will take it personally. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. It's not what I want. I have a duty, and I intend to see it through. The galaxy is in danger, and I want to save it. That's what I want. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? No, I, I don't really want to drop it, but the game didn't give me a choice. Oh. Huh, that's weird. Let's get a save in here just in case. And now we're gonna go talk and get our money, and then we're gonna talk to the hidden backs. Oh, wait, no, I don't have enough money for you yet, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. No, he wants 200 credits and I have 198. Nope. I'm trying to persuade him. Nope. Got 300 credits. So now let's go get this bounty lifted. Nope, wrong room. This better be. Hey, it's like. Don't worry, I'll stick to my. Light side points. again Just try to get 40 credits back from him yeah Oh, that was dumb of me. I should have just did it. I take the 1 in 20 chance that I get a... 1 in 10 chance that I get a 1. Okay, that might not end up hurting me. Uh, it might. Oh, he's gonna hold it 18 and I have it too. Well if you Picked up 40 extra credits there. So now to the hidden back base. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Well, I'm no spy. Maybe so. But this door is locked, and it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gadon or the Hidden Backs. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Backs' open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcan's order, sir. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. 
The hidden backs are watching you. Big brother is watching. See, look at all the little terminals. Big brother's watching. Zerdra, Gadden. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. So in the speedrun of this game, you're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulcans you want you dead. You fake level up to get past the impossible doors. It's my job to make sure you're safe. Because you can get you past the impossible doors on site, with a like the Vulcans do. 91 I will never let security it come to that. seal. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything, and you'll be you kill Gadden, you can say and it's lie. almost like you went and helped the Vulkers. But then you come out here, and Gadden's still alive as you run out of the run you out of the base and speed run. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Or Don't they'd run you yourself. Out. Yeah. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But like destroy so the planet. The Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Breshik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the <laughs> Sith. Calm She's paranoid. Down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay ah, in my crud. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. Oh, oops. That's okay in my book. The Vulcan, a female Republic officer named Bastila, survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to She's escape a Jedi. from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a writer for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. Sounds, the sounds like a pretty, pretty fast runs. bike. They plan to use I like swoop racing in this game. It's so much fun. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. 
She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the sit guard post at the elevator. I got some uniforms. Well, simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. That's convenient. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there a I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Oh, oops. Crud, what is up with me clicking? I'm just clicking everywhere except where I should be. So the Undercity is this way, maybe, yeah it looks like it's this trooper at the end. Some hidden back scouts. Papers, right? Let me see. Uh, the Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Good old Undercity. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. <laughs> Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. And now. Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a... <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food Sound like and medicine. Gollum from Lord Hush, of the Rings. The others will hear us. They'll want our credits. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give <laughs> people a bad first impression. My name's My name Dark is Shalina. Phantom. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the so sky, sad. the stars... It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Sounds like someone I need to talk to. Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land. 
even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. <sighs> I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children wow, laugh at old. him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. He'll be somewhere in the village, like... I don't know anything about that. There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village. Oh, okay. A few of the braver villagers dared to leave the safety of the fence. They... they never... Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease... So you just lock... For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could try... I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can... I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder, but... Let's figure out how hard these rack bowls are. Um... Actually, I'm gonna go get the cure first. That would be the smart thing to do. Ah, I gear. Hey, you ain't from the vi- Watch yourself. There's something slimy about- My name's I gear. Ichani battle armor. Arcanian heavy pistol would be nice, but I don't have enough money for that. Is there anything we could sell? Gendar, we're kill. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This That's one might be tough. crazy enough to be dangerous. It's kind of tough on me. me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. What are you, what are you talking about, question. old man? You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name... Ruko Recklesin. Yeah. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she... Oh, was he a Jedi? Ha 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 No. No, no, not yet. I must be... My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? 
Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Okay, I'll help him. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the... I wish you luck. And Kendar. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down... No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Oh, of course. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. We are the outcasts, why do you live shunned from the here? surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been, here, been for here a long time. Our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Tell me about the, the rat, rat ghouls I need monsters, to know. Hideous what to mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Ask your questions, Upworlder. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion ah, often sewers. pass through our village on their way to exp there are two entrances into the sewers from the Undersea. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily. As you wish, Upworlder. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's right. I can never actually save him. It looks so creepy. Help! It's right behind me! Help! Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make... I can't open the gate. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. Hurry! While the gate is still open, you must save Hindar. Oh, yeah, attack me. Oh my gosh. Wow! That thing just annihilated me. Oh, crud. We'll do the quick version of talking to them. You are the king. I. Greetings. What? I. The... Yes. Ask. I. I sell my crap to I gear again. Run faster, foe. That thing looks so creepy. Help! 
It's right behind me! I don't remember me. looking that creepy when I played this before. Oh, hurry, Hindar! He'll never make it. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! The m and if- No, please- I Hello? Hurry! While the gate is still open, you must save Hindar! I don't know Hindar. that I ever saved the dude. Oh, oh he killed Karth already, wow. That was a crap. That was a ton of damage. How did he do that? Oh, I guess Karth can level up. Let's do that. What? Run, Hendar, run! Help! It's right behind me! Help! Hurry! He'll... He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! The... No, please... I... You... Oh. Hurry! While the gate is still open, you must save Hindar. The heck, Karth? Ready? The heck, Karth? How'd you like it? I like never save him. Sure. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we. I still have you, Hindar. Ooh, light side points. Thank you for saving Hindar. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your. Bro I'm Trellin. From the outcast village. It's my Good. What? What? Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Slow down. It's Dalbar, he's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rat ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll that's find disgusting. Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Oh, of course. Ready. 
Of course, you run into one random guy, and he's like a legend. And it's not Kalinor either. I normally have mission, even though she's a scoundrel. I normally grab her Viper Blade and a prototype Viper Blade. Did I really sell that combat suit? Or did I not have an extra one? Sure. I don't remember now. If I sold it, it was pretty dumb of me. Disengage. Get you a level up at the best possible second. Head of the Black Volker Gang. He told us to kill anyone who came snooping around. There was one survivor, a female Republic officer. Bastilla or something like that. Brezhik took her back to the... You can't. Nobody can. They'll shoot you on sight. Well, we could talk to the hidden back. Look, that's all I know. You don't have to tell me. I let him live. I'm a nice guy. Like some kind of hideous disease. No! No! I can feel it! Ah! He just transforms into a rack. Ah, crap, I should have given myself a Damn, I feel sick. Oh! And I'm gonna die too. Okay. Well, that's where I'm gonna leave off for tonight because it is now midnight Eastern time. So I want to thank you all for watching and have a good evening. I'll probably switch back to my normal uh, speed runs of Battlefront 1. And I'll probably try one of the Pokemon runs again tomorrow. But I will get back to this because I do want to play through this game again.
some interesting things going on with the restoration mod. And the Brotherhood of Shadow mod is nice too. So that'll be fun when I get to that far. So thank you for watching and have a good night.